So this tutorial is, des is designed to show you how you can create your Final Cut project uh, file in the most efficient and organized way possible for you. And the more organized, of course, that your files are in Final Cut, the easier it is to get a project done that you're looking to get done. This, the library is your main component to your uh, Final Cut project, and you'll see why in just a moment. So once I create Final File New Library, once I create my my library I'm going to name it something that's relevant to the project so in this case I did archiving tutorial I'm going to hit save now this creates my library in which everything else is going to fall below it all my clips all my project files everything is going to fall within right directly under archiving tutorial so now I'm going to create my f first event within this library so what is an event? An event in Final Cut is basically a subfolder that you can create to put specific things. So I'm going to create my first new event um, and I'm going to go File, New, Event. And I'm going to name this Project File. I'm going to create another event or subfolder called I'm going to name this one within, once again, within the same library. You always want to make sure it's under the same library, archiving tutorial in this case. I'm going to create one for B-roll clips, and I'm going to hit OK. All right, I'm going to create this event, my camera archive. So I'm going to take my SD archive that I showed you in the previous tutorial. So now, now that I'm done creating my events, I'm going to create a project file, my, my project file, and it's going to be within that folder called project file that I created which was my first event and I'm going to name it southern event project file so I'm just making up a name of an event I'm just it's called southern event how creative of me but see now it, now at the bottom here it gave me access just now to edit down here and that's where your main editing pane or window because I should say is so now that your project file is created you want to import now your archive that we just created in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to go to File, Import Media, and I, again, which makes this, when you archive, it makes it so much easier when you archive your raw clips, because now all I have to do is go in here and import one archive of clips as opposed to uh, multiple raw clips. So now that I, I'm going to select it, as you can see, and I'm going to go to Import Selected. So now I've not only made my single camera archive file with all my raw clips, but I've now imported it into the folder uh, called that I've labeled and called camera archive. So now how do you split up those clips um, into the different folders uh, that I've created, like full presentation, B-roll clips, etc.? Well, see here, this first file on top, was the full presentation for this event. So I created my folder, my event that says full presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this clip that says full presentation and I'm going to drag and drop it right into my full presentation event. Now I'm going to go back to my camera archive folder and now the last four clips that are in my camera archive folder are raw b-roll clips. As you can see there, there's four of them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all these with my mouse. I'm going to select all four, and I'm going to drag and drop them from the camera archive folder into the B-roll clips folder that you can see I've, I'm dragging and drop there. That's what's highlighted blue. So now I've got my B-roll clip separated from my full presentation recording. So now I'm going to go into my full presentation folder. I'm going to take my full presentation recording. I'm going to drag and drop it into my editing area. I'm going to take my B-roll clips and obviously place them um, wherever um, they should be placed and whatever is best fit um, when you're doing a package like this. So 
Obviously, I'd be a little bit more careful with where I place them if it, if it was a real package that I was editing. But just for tutorial purposes, I just wanted to show you um, how you basically separate your B-roll clips from your other recordings. And, and as you can see, that makes things mo the most organized way possible when you're uh, editing in Final Cut. I know there's a few more steps, and when we're going through them, it, it seems like it you know it's it's a more of a long process but to be honest once you um do it the first time on your own you'll realize that it's it's a lot quicker to do this without um me going through and and showing you step by step it does seem like a lot but it's actually very little and it's going to save you a lot of headaches um when it comes time to edit <laughs>